your best in prelims, you feel you were in a good position for finals? Um, yeah, I felt I was in a great position. It's a lot of stress if you're going up last in the prelims. You have a lot of pressure mm -hmm. pressure on you in the final, you know, if, if you're ranked first in the preliminary round. So yeah. being in the middle of the pack is the best, best place to be because you're not up first and you don't have the pressure of, of going up last, and that's where I usually like to be in the final. Okay. So going into the Olympics, were you coping with an injury? Um, yeah, it's been really tough this year to get back in time because um, I had to have uh, surgery on my knee back in November and uh, take uh, almost two months off. So that really set me back a lot and I was only able to do two international competitions leading into these games. So um, it was a bit of, bit of a struggle to, to prepare on time, but um, you know, I managed to, to get enough training under my belt and I felt pretty confident coming into these games. How did your knee um, feel after prelims? Were you feeling good for the finals? Um, my knee was actually giving me a lot of problems because at the end of our routines we have to absorb all of all of our bounce and when you're jumping high in the air and you have to you know stop your bounce completely it really hurts my knee and I never do that in training so um, I was supposed to train the day after prelims but I wasn't able I had to sit that out and on the morning of I was still feeling a lot of pain but um, I just spoke with the team doctor up to my uh, my anti-inflammatories and then just kind of went out there and gave it one last effort and pulled off a good routine and uh, yeah it worked out well. Who did you see as your biggest threats um, going into the final? Um, the, the toughest competitors are the Chinese athletes and the Russians. Now only one Chinese and one Russian qualified for the final so I knew my chances of being on the podium were easier than if you know two of the Chinese had qualified so um, I knew my chances were strong, but you know I, I thought they'd put up good routines, and I knew after I did my routine it was only worth 37, and I'm capable of scoring 39s. That I didn't really think it would hold right till the end. Mm -hmm. How um, immense was the pressure going into this competition? The media has been covering um, the trampoline event um, because of you, basically, uh, and your past results, two medals already. <laughs> what was going on in your head? Um, I think there's a lot of pressure because not just the media, but pressure you put on yourself. I already have great results at the Olympics. You want to do well. It's only every four years. You only have so many opportunities to, you know, to have a victory at the Olympic Games. So there was a lot of pressure, and you know, I think that's what did kind of affect my performance a bit because the score I put up is is pretty low for me, and I know I could perform better. But given how nervous I was feeling and the intense intensity in the room and the stadium and you know I could see everyone was feeling that pressure so I'm really happy with how things turned out and how I handled that. So is there a slight disappointment that you didn't get that um, gold medal that you were looking for or? Um, not a disappointment I'm really happy with my career I mean I have three Olympic medals and um, you know other great results from the world championships but um, of course, when you go to a competition, you're going there to win. That's what competition's about. My goal was, you know, to win, and I came up with a silver medal, and I'm really happy with that. I did my best, and you know, that's that's all you can do. I trained my best, competed, competed my best, and I ended up with a silver medal, and I'm happy with that. Good. So, what's in the future for you? Um, will you be staying in trampoline another four years? Um, I think four years would be pretty tough for me to do because of my body and my, you know, um, my injury with my knee and, you know, the sport's really tough on the body. So, um, I think that'd be, you know, a little optimistic to say I could be in it for another four years, but I plan to compete at least for another year or so and then kind of take a decision. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied already doing three Olympics and, and I'm pretty content with, with my athletic career. What about, um, life outside of athletics? Um, what, what are your goals in the next years? Um, well, there's a lot of exciting changes right now. You know, I'm a newlywed and, you know, me and my husband are just really excited about the future and, of course, eventually I'd like to start a family and there's lots of projects I want to work on when I get home and, you know, start to explore new things. But at the same time, I want to stay involved in the sport. I'd like to do some coaching and, you know, give back and, you know, help the sport as much as I can.